The Bartlesville Central Fire Station turns 75 years old. The police department turns 72. On Monday, though, construction begins on a new public safety complex. Two Works View reporter Joe Hinkey gives us a look from downtown Bartlesville. The complex approved by voters back in 2012 will sit just on the other side of this fence here. And I'm told from firefighters to police officers, the improvements these buildings will bring are long overdue. Captain Jay Hastings began working with Bartlesville Police in 1986, the last time the department received any major renovations. Since then, major flooding damaged the department, and two services now run out of Washington County buildings have left large pockets of empty space. There's no way to you know, refit that area for anything else because it was built, you know, jail cells. Uh, and then also we have a dispatch center downstairs um, and, and our dispatch was mo also moved over to the new county building. At Bartlesville Central Fire Station, the building's age is visible on the outside and now it is time for improvements. There hasn't been a major renovation or update to this station for several, several years. The update for the fire department includes renovating the current station and then building onto it, including room for larger fire trucks, which should come as a relief to anyone working or living downtown. Uh, we've got all the, the high rise structures here in downtown Bartlesville, but the age of the station, you know, the trucks have gotten bigger from since this station was built. A lot of our uh, aerial apparatus, none of our aerial apparatus will actually fit in this downtown station. Which means right now all those trucks are stored outside of downtown. And for anyone living in Bartlesville, the hope is with the new complex, downtown will be where they can find help when they need it. City offices, the courthouse, library, or, or the police department, it's all going to be within a two block area. Right now, the plan is for this complex to open either late this year or in January of 2017. Reporting in Bartlesville tonight, Joe Hinkey, Two Works For You.